eye is not merely seeing reality. It is touching the truth. You ever wake up and you're like, was I asleep for an entire day? That's how I feel right now because I was. I sat down to do some reading and uh, review and <clears throat> realized that I lost my last pen last night. I only use one type of pen. I use the Pilot G2. I'm a Jill guy, get at me. So we gotta go pick some of those up right now. The issue is, is that I use this type of pen, but this is a 07. I usually fuck with 0.5 or 0.38, so. Let's hope Office Depot has the stuff. All right, we out here. Too colorful. I'm very particular about my office supplies. I don't know, I can't do my work unless I have like the exact type of paper and pen that I like. It's kind of weird, I'm kind of OCD about it. They only have one millimeters. Oh wait, no. Sevens. Sevens are a little too fat though. Fuck, shit. Extra fine. You can actually go finer than extra fine, but I guess this is a casual office supply store. They own a .38. I've only found .38s on like college campuses and stuff. Oh, this is the only .38 they have. I don't really have, you know, I like, basically I like my pens like I like my women, ultra fine. I guess we're going with .5s, so boys. Damn it. All right, that's what that is. Oh yeah, I need a notebook too. My sister's here. This will be interesting. What's up, Finley? You do not look like you used to look. I know I don't look like that. Say hi. Hello. Say hi, Francis. Hi. You're losing your teeth, man. Are you, are you getting paid for that? Is the tooth fairy coming? Yeah. I see you dyed your hair. I did dye my hair. Say hi, Jennifer. Who is that? But it's blue and it's see? different. Get it. Why are you taping? Why are you taping a video? For the vlog. Say for the vlog. For the vlog. For the vlog. Vlog blog. Vlog. 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 Fake. Kids aren't supposed to have tattoos. It's fake because. What's it say? Papa Murphy's? Huh, it's a Papa Murphy's tattoo. I don't like that. Little girls aren't supposed to have tattoos. Don't get a tattoo, it's bad for you. I didn't know I got this. I woke up with this. No, you got it. No, I woke up with it. Just like my hair. You dyed your hair. I woke up with my hair dyed. Look. Two. Back one. Three. Start like this. One. Yeah. Two. Three. Yeah, but see your hands upside down. I've got a little time to kill since uh, I'm taking time lapses right now. And I thought that I'd do my review right now. It's kind of weird, but whatever. I spilled a bunch of water on my jacket. So here's your Archangel. Well, it's my Archangel, but you get what I'm saying. Channel Titanium, one solid piece. I prefer my battle songs like this, as I've said before. Now this right here, focus. Focus. This little like latch thing right here is a, there's a countersunk kind of cavity here where you would put the pocket clip in, but I don't prefer pocket clips. So the maker or the, the guy that I bought this knife of off of made this for me so that the weight is still even. So it's really, really nice. I have no latch on here as well, which a lot of people say it doesn't flip as well without the latch, but I haven't seen any difference because I love the fuck out of the flipping of this knife. The blade type, I think it's spear point. I'm not really sure. It's like a custom blade from what I know because there's no marks on it or anything. It's uh, it's pretty sharp, but I haven't, I haven't put a real edge on it yet. It is a tang pin style knife, unfortunately. I'm not too big on the tangs as you know because the more they get beat, the worse it gets. But the thing is, is that the person that I bought this knife off of, once again, said that if it were to get messed up, he would make me a new one. As you can see, there's a decent amount of play in this knife. That's a lot of play. I haven't Loctited this knife at all, and that's mainly because I will tune this knife before I flip it and I need to be able to take this knife apart quite a, quite often because I have to keep this blade oiled 
This is high carbon steel, which is what Archangels came with. It's not stainless steel like most knives. And the reason why is that, I guess they just wanna make it hard on people. I'm not really sure. But the thing is, is that you have to keep these these knives oiled and if you don't the blades will rust titanium doesn't rust but the blade steel will rust and that can cause you know deterioration deterioration of the uh, of the blade steel and the overall integrity of your knife so it's it's always good to kind of almost obsessively oil this thing I know people that literally oil their Archangels every single day it carries momentum better than any other knife I have by far and I think that it attributed to the, the longer handles this knife comes in at 4.09 ounces it's ridiculously light but it's also very long, and I think that that is why you can get going really, really quickly with this knife, and it will carry momentum through rollovers almost seamlessly. Here's a comparison. Hold on. Archangel compared to a 42. The Archangel is a, a little longer, and the 42 is a little heavier. But I personally love, love, love both of these knives. They're both channel, titanium, and they're both some of the top flippers in the entire world. Ask anyone. Uh, like I said, my only really down downside to my Archangel is the maintenance that goes into it. You, you, you literally have to baby this knife. It's, it's literally one of the best flippers and there's going to be downsides to any knife. Here's a width comparison. You know, they're almost the same knife. The Archangel is just a little longer. But that literally makes all of the difference. It's, it's literally insane. They're still, they're both really, really, really good knives though. I highly suggest that if you can get either a 42 Archangel, that you should go for that. I'll go more into my preferences for the 42 when I do a video on it. I always heard about Archangels having hella hype behind them but I never really believed it and then I came up on a video of a guy that was flipping his and he was talking about it and it really enticed me and it really got me going I was like damn like I should probably try and you know get one because they're really really hard to come by people obsess over them they're that good now there is a maker I, I don't know exactly who it is I think it might be DDR but there's a guy that is going to make Archangels again. It's not cold steel, but it's a guy that's like basically copying them I think he got permission to and you can customize them fully you can you know decide what type of like rear bias they have you can uh, Determine what type of blade style you want you can anodize them you can choose pocket clips everything They they live up to the hype and I don't say that about a lot of knives to be honest I'm pretty pessimistic when it comes to knives and when I got it I almost like kind of was cringing at myself for spending the money I did on it when it was coming in the mail I was like, oh my god, it's such an old knife you know I paid so much money for it like what if what happens if it comes and I don't like it I fucking love it so worth the money I would have paid more money had I known that it flipped this well like it's insane it's insane if you ever meet me in real life I'll let you flip it just so that you get a taste it's like heroin that's how good this knife flips it's fucking ridiculous like I flipped ex 10s not even close Palatheus, not even close elb kind of close but not really archangels are belligerent they're crazy good anyways i'm shooting some b-roll right now i mean I, there's not really much i can talk about i took the weight that's like on, the only specification i know the length is there uh it's just slightly longer than a 42 like i said and that is all you need because it it, it gives it a perfect rear bias it's already a basically neutral knife but it's just it's just so good man Okay, I gotta go. I don't find you funny at all. Love you too. Whoa!